Hello, hello, here is Copper, Silver and Steel, welcome back to my videos. Today we will be talking about Dali BMS and Lithium Iron Frustrate using and connecting using this ring terminal. So we will be assembling another bank. If you are interested, just stay tuned and we will start in a moment. Alright, so uh, this is uh, my second bank built using uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, cells. This is EVE 280 amp hours from China. Um, most of these uh, cells are equipped with M6 uh, strut, MC bolt. And you need this ring terminal, this kind, with 6 millimeters in diameter in here. To put this on a cell and connect with DALI BMS or any other BMS. Uh, so basically, um, if you take a look over this cable, I started to making it, but I decided to stop and make a video about it because it may be a little bit tricky because all these wires are so tiny and so small as you can see. So it's really disturbing how to do this using crimping pilots, not using soldering. I don't want to use soldering in here, but this is um, six uh, millimeters and it is for 2.5 millimeters square cables. So the cables like this. And I will show you my way how I'm doing it. So how I'm preparing this 16 plus one um, BMS connection individually into each cell. So basically I'm using also these thermal uh, shrinkable tubes uh, and I'm just um, starting putting it in here. It's very common and useful for nice and shiny ending, which should look like this. And my way to do this is as follows. I need some uh, 2.5 millimeter cables, actually cable that matches your ring terminals. Um, so in my case, it is 2.5 millimeter square. What I'm doing, basically, uh, this is how this cable looks like. I will try to show you everything in short. Uh, this is my insulation remover. There's another video on my channel where I'm showing how to mm, use it so basically I will remove about one centimeters 10 millimeters of the insulation so I will get something like this 10 millimeters I would wrap up this on this cable and crimp it using universal uh, crimping piles it could be used for solar MC4 connection but also it is uh, for 2.5 as you can see in here so what I'm doing uh, take this and also remove about one centimeters uh, insulation something like this uh, if more don't worry if less it could be problem because we will be cutting it so basically what we are doing now um, I hope maybe it's the idea to lock no 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 it's really disturbing Hey, you, focus. Sorry, this focus is crazy. But what I'm doing, I'm actually wrapping this around the 2.5 millimeters cable. I want to wrap it at the beginning. So um, a little bit further here. So. I'm of course twisting to have nice connection okay and now I take the ring terminal and the section where the cable should go so this is the this first one part in here this is the place where the terminal and our 2.5 cable should be in okay I'm showing you again how it looks like this is the place where only insulation remains, so this is how it should look like. Okay, all right, now it's in. Now I'm taking the crimping pile, and we will be crimping only this first part using 
because this is dedicated size for this ring terminal so I'm putting it in here and squeezing there is another video all right so now as you can see we have nice examinate but try to remove this cable this cable there really nicely holds uh, but of course this cable is only used to increase the diameter of our wire so to match perfectly in here so it gives uh, you know some materials some copper to be nicely and hold what I'm doing next next I'm doing just the scissors just the... and I'm removing our remaining part so now we have uh, something like this I hope my isolation tube is in here, yes, probably I didn't forget. And the rest, what remains, the rest part is to crimp this insulation part, this one. Um, and I'm doing it, it the following way. So I'm putting the red cable with insulation right or left and this uh, naked copper to the opposite side as you can see okay yes it's in and I'm crimping it using 6.0 uh, this uh, last part so in my case this is the last one okay make sure that you are not crimping the the previous part the first part because we will be crimping only the last part and now let's see how beautiful connection secure and nothing is going outside or inside uh, why this problem ba basically if you look at the market on uh, the six uh, millimeter size in here usually comes with the bigger wire like 2.5 1.5 and it's difficult to find something which will be securely and easy to crimp on this little tiny wires this is so tiny i don't know it's a, like a thin uh air mm, i don't know it's really really thin wire so basically the last step is and actually it's the first step because before you start crimping this is the good idea to do this at the beginning as you can see i have prepared about one centimeters long mm, this heat shrinkable tubes so i'm putting it in here i take a lighter and don't did it don't did it don't did it don't okay not i'm trying not to fire the camera all right so as you can see the work is done and you need to do this 16 times plus one uh so as you can see i have uh, prepared this insulation remover about one centimeters then i use this 2.5 cables also remove so some um, insulation wrap up crimp and then insulation tube at the end all right so this is all for this video i don't want to make this video very long but if you are interested how to build uh 16s um lithium iron phosphate bank for your solar system just give me a comment give me a like and i will continue publishing this video because this is the second bank i'm building now and after i finish it all my banks are on daily bms 100 amps 60 in s and i will be connecting them in parallel so my bank will be 16 s 2 p all right so thanks for watching it was copper silver and steel See you later.